going to re-dominate this UK scene now as we're getting into game one PS2 I hope you like the look of green because one of these players is looking for a little green themselves as we're getting into it now Ooh, zone playing the vertical game now makes that spin dash a lot harder to get through good work from the approaches from him now but it is Pelly who's going to find something grab gonna beat him out now as explosive flame just going to temper Pelly's approach a little bit right now as the dash tag comes out. The retreating fair. Very, very good option there. Pelly trying to find something, but he's going to be caught. We're trying to mix him up as the up air comes through as well. Fast fallen. Just trying to make it work. The track down. Very rare. You see it right now as zone looking fairly aggressive, but still going to make it back in time to find a little bit of an edge guard now. Falling up air once again as the crab comes through. Just throw out two of them. Well, he's still going to get caught. Maybe he needs to mix up these recoveries a little bit more often now. As Pelly once again sends them off. It's not looking crazy. Pelly might be at 110, but Pelly finds the right string. They can definitely equalize this. As looks like just into a little bit of neutral. It's Pelly with a little bit of ground as a double up air sends him up. Pelly just looking to chip away at Zone's armor right now as that heel of the goddess is going to come through as well. Zone trying to cover multiple options, but Pelly's able to retreat and just slide right under it against the falling up air. We're going to see this first stock going to be very, very important right now as Pelly just threatening a little bit. Just send him off stage, but does catch him onto the platform. Air dodge sorting him out. The very final frame of that Nair sorting him out as well, but Pelly able to make it back to the stage nice and quick as well. Dash that gonna whiff, grab gonna whiff. Both of them looking for something. There was a, there was a down tilt input in there for some reason. As the dash comes out, and I don't think Pelly expected it. He looks a little flustered from that one. He's gonna fall into the crowd. 99 on zone. No flake right now as Pelly looking for a kill. Looking for something as the spin dash goes all the way through into the fair. Full commitment, but Still living, tries to go for the two-frame smash as the F-Tilt comes out as well. Pelly looking for something, doesn't want to go too deep, doesn't want to risk anything. This spring doing plenty of work for himself right now. Is a falling there into a back air. Going to equalize. And I don't think that 1.4 is going to be the um, advantage Zone was looking for as a little bit more neutral. Zone beating them out, that's two nares. As he tries to ledge Trump, a little bit too slow though. Pelly, able to regain a little bit of ground. We're gonna miss the tech though, but the get up attack, a perfect option to try and beat up this little angel right now as he is able to low profile the dash, sends him out. What have we got? A drag down up here. Gets a grab, sends her up, sends her out, sends him with a shield. Good job to avoid the explosive flame there, but so, so, so patient. Can be able to avoid the dash attack punish as well. Sends him up a couple of nares. What was it Mystic Eyes called it? I want to say the tumble dryer, or was it the washing machine? Either one right now as Pelly tries to dash out, but Zone, that Palutena just fast enough as the two frame comes out, not quite able to punish just quick enough as a forward throw just to keep the business going. A homing attack to be able to keep Pelly a little bit of ground right there, but the fair is just misspaced enough. Zone's able to punish. A little bit of a disjoint of his own. Pelly going so, so deep right now as the Nair comes through as well. Forward tilt, quick enough. Sending him out, sending him up. A little bit of a washing machine going on right now. Pelly trying to find an angle. Does not want to make this that close. But once again, Palatina's a little bit too heavy as that is going to be the one in advantage right now. Makes it back early. Looks for a spike. Not quite going to be able to do it. Pelly needs to find a kill. Grab not going to come through. Just needs to find something. Needs to force zone off stage, but the disjoint of this Palu Baton. Just doing so much work right now. Goes for the high recovery, but the forward end, not going to kill you from that ledge. It's 162 on zone. And if a couple of these explosive flames come out, if a couple of these projectiles, they're going to start doing a lot of damage to this Sonic. But Heli been fighting for so, so long. Still not going down, still just on 24. If they find a kill, it's perfectly fine. But the explosive flame does 20. As another dash attack clips him up. Pelly's looking pretty dire right now. Really needs to find something. And don't get me wrong, Pelly is clutch as hell. But Zone looking to reclaim that throne. As Pelly says, 
There's a new king, baby. 69.8. And Zone still in the lead. But it's Pelly with the stage control. It's Pelly with the advantage. It's Pelly who's looking to force Zone to take this L now as the Nair going to catch him out. But Zone with the reversal. Avoiding the explosive flame. Pelly going for a slow recovery. Good stuff. Makes him back onto stage now. Trying to go for a spin dash. Trying to go for something that can maybe force a little bit of percentage onto this Palatina. And you can see Zone is trying to cover options, trying to throw out disjoints, but Pele slowing it down, not forcing it, sending him out with a back air now. Good drift from Zone, able to avoid it, not going for anything too early. But Pele's just standing there menacingly as Zone right into the clutch's arms. Pele trying to read a high recovery as well, but Zone staying strong, going for the Nair, sending him up. Can they find a kill here? It could be anyone's game. Who knows who's going to take what? It's looking pretty even right now. Stage control forward. Smash comes out from the Sonic. But Zone keeps their cool. They refuse to buckle under the pressure. That is Pelly. As a homing attack comes out, a spin dash sends them right off, off to the stage. Teleport down. Going to avoid the spring as well. And now we're back where we were 20% ago. Both players looking for an angle, looking for a crack, looking for a crevice. As Pelly just trying to bait out an option, trying to whiff something and a fall out of the up air. But they get the grab and they're going to send them off. Can Pelly find the angle, find it? Oh, they're going to go deep. Nope, they are going to go for the spring dash though. Not going to get the two frame as the dodge comes through. Keeps Pelly safe as Pelly is looking for a grab, looking for something. A forward air sends him up, but he falls out of the up air once again as the back air comes through, sends him off. Explosive flame, not going to do it as Pelly has gone too low. Come on, so what have you got now? Have you got a back end over the dash attack and a cross up? I'm going to be doing just enough as the dash doesn't come through. The dash from Zone as well. Going to keep him safe now as forces him down with a bit of a mix up. Pele getting caught, slipping with the forward tilt as Zone clutches the game. 13 seconds to spare. And that was a nail bite oh, right there. I didn't even see the clock right there. Birat is going to be the one to take the first game. But that was disgustingly close and incredibly, incredibly even. We're going to see if it's going to be Pelly to make the run back or if Zone is really here to stay, here to dominate, here to prove that, hey, they've left it alone for a little while, but they're coming back to take down the new kings. We're getting into picks and bands now is going to be pretty tough to figure if stage had that much of an angle there. Going to small battlefield, so basically PS2 with more fun music. But, you know, jokes aside, uh, the length of PS2 is going to come into play quite a lot. Because naturally, you would think, you know, Zone's going to be the one in control and going to have a better advantage with this long, with uh, this. Oh, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. You think that Pelly is going to be the one with advantage here because Zone going to have a lot less space to work with those projectiles. Going to see if that does come true. As Pelly going to send him up, force him onto a platform. But good drift from Rose. Good drift from Rose. Oh boy. Right. You're going to have to work with me here, folks. As Zone going to make their way back onto the stage. The back are going to come through as well. Not going to fall for any of this Pelly nonsense. Not even going for a grab. Just absolutely forcing Pelly to rethink their game plan as it's going to be them finding a back air as well. Tries to read the instant teleport as well, but instead the fair is going to come through. Penny going nice and deep right now, but not able to do much. I feel like he would have done a lot better just drifting back to stage because he didn't have a whole lot of tools in the chest to take that one down as a falling there sends him off. Are we going to go aggressive again? The spring has been doing absolute work for Pelly right now, but doesn't read a neutral girl. If you saw him go for the slight turnaround there as well as the fairy's going to take out, and now it's Pelly who's looking very, very explosive at the start of this here game as Grab comes through, back air sends him out. Not going to be able to get anything there as the down tilt two frame does come out as well. Bungs his head onto the wall, and another two frame comes out, but. Zone not able to find the punish. Still on 0%. If they can find a kill here, then it is equally perfectly split. But Ellie's not one to take 50-50s. As Zone still keeping them on the back foot. Forward, they're going to come out. Goes to the dash attack, but the drift from Zone. Going to keep them safe right now as spin dash to the face. Met with a buckler to the skull as the forward tilt not going to do much either. Ellie sent nice and high up. Going for a very low recovery. Going for... Wall jump as well. What can they do? They're playing so patiently. They just want Zone to make a mistake. 
Is it going to happen? 16% extra credit. Zone still looking good. If they can just find a back air, find something. Because you're not going to be seeing many smash reads this game. Let me tell you, it is all too fast. It's all about chip and Dale right now as Pelly looking for a way in, but doesn't want to force it too much. There's four minutes 50 left on the clock. He's got time to work with. There's a couple more spin dash. Just going to bunch him right in the face right now, but so able to keep themselves safe right now. Is a down tilt just to beat anything out, but he's going to call out the long dash with a dash attack of his own. And now Pelly brought down to the same level as zone, but 75% on the clock. Pelly is looking more favorable in this matchup here as looks like zone is going to be the one with the control right now going to see if Pelly can make a run back but it is zone with a double up air will keep them safe right now as the back are not going to connect but neither is sonic's hitboxes counter coming through interesting option but you can see both of these players going for this every now and again they will go for something a little bit i don't want to say risky because they are able to adapt and they are able to retreat, but they'll go for something like a very hard smash, a very hard counter, just because they think their opponent is gonna wanna keep up this pressure, keep up this assault. That time on that clock is a factor, and looks like Zone's time just hit zero as he eats a big sonic shoe on to the side of the stage. And you'll see if Pelly can bring this all the way home now as Zone looking pretty healthy but he's gonna take down Pelly right here right now if they want anything fat boy slim what have he got for us now as the explosive flame catches him with the very last big saw Pelly able to take a little bit of a low recovery there makes him nice and safe one 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 on that Pelly call an ambulance right now he's sent very very low but the air dodge getting him back to stage the grab not going to come through, not getting the neutral there, but that's quite all right right now as the up air sends him up, sends him out, but you need another one. You need one more as the falling there catches him, but the angle's not what you wanted. As Zone finally looking for a kill, still not going to happen. Pelly just keeping them on their toes. So, so close. Pelly can bring this home or Zone can find the string of a lifetime, but it's not gonna be easy as Pelly's on 151 right now. Mew under the truck, there's the Nair, but Pelly's still living. That, was, that wasn't a Mew under the truck, that was, a, that was a lava cookie under the truck. For any obscure Pokemon knowledge fans out there, as the Smash finally takes it. The whip to Smash, I might say, as Pelly sends them up, sends them out. Zone on such a ludicrously high percent, but the Nair's not gonna do it. It's gonna be Pelly equalizing the set 1-1. One, one. Sonic says it was too easy. Would you agree? As we're gonna get back into the next game. I'm curious where we're gonna run. I'm curious if the length of the stage had anything to do with it. And with this town and city hover, I've got a sneaking suspicion it was. As Zone is looking to run us back to something with a little bit of length, a little bit of girth. Who can blame them? As we're getting in to game three of winner's semis, it's Pelly versus Zone. And it's looking disgustingly close right now as we're getting onto it. A couple of platforms to play with, but nothing crazy. I don't think they're going to be too much of a factor right now. I think it's more to do with the length of this stage that's really that's going. That's crazy. I had, my, I had my set came back, and this still, this set is only a game three. Buddy, the first game ended with 13 seconds on the clock. <laughs> and if you're having a guess, they got Focus Miss back after their set. We've got game three of Pelly versus Zone, and it has been very close, let me tell you. What's been going on? What's the dynamic? I heard, so game, one game went, went to 13 seconds. Yeah. What about game, game two? So the first game went to Zone with 13 seconds to spare. Second one, a little bit more dominant with Pelly. Was still last stock, but Pelly much, much healthier. Had a two, had a one stock lead most of the game. And now, we're on a much, much longer stage, so we've been PS2, we've been Small Battlefield, and now we're back to Tennessee. Pelly off to a good start. Do you think there's been any like specific ad adaptations, or do you think it's just neutral, just going his, going his way, he's been capitalizing, and he's Honestly, got 91st? I don't think there's been that crazy an adaptation. Zone 
did utilize a much, much more vertical approach to beat out Spin Dash. So he would do these falling up airs and these falling nares. But Pelly is learning to just keep his distance, just keep zone at this kind of diagonal angle so that he can always find a way in. Yeah. And I feel like as with any other player, Pelly, um, uh, sorry, Pelly does very well with the lead. Sonic does well with the lead. So it's going to be an uphill battle for Zone at the moment. And I think the sponsor's spelled wrong, by the way. Uh, so with a Z, I think. Yeah, that's just... Yeah, that's just... Yeah, that's a good point. There we go. But Zone doing very nicely. He could... could oh, we got it down to two, down to two frame and then converting into the forward air. Evening up, he's not that far behind. He is like one good nair string away from equalizing. Yeah, you've got that right. And that has yeah. been the tale for this whole game. It's been these two players just whoever has the slightest advantage is able to push it to such a ludicrous degree. It's crazy. Just so happens, Pelly's been in the driver's seat a lot more often than so. Yeah. Let's see what they can do. Goes to the high recovery. Brilliant, Brilliant drift for that. Makes the Pelly up. Oh, I'm going high to avoid the S-plus 2 frame. Even though it sort of like went into him, it's very nice. Yeah, it was really, really good. Can see if they can make a safe recovery now. No platform to keep them safe as well, but the falling washing machine tries to go for the instant grab as well. Not quite going to be able to do it. Zone's definitely making, he's making Pelly work. Very hard to actually get these hits. Yeah. Oh, oh my goes so, so high. That blast zone just a little bit too high for him as he tries to catch him on the platform. But Pelly burns up. the jump to avoid any potential follow-up. Zone so brought this back tremendously well. Feeling himself hard, but not going not going deep. Just holding that his grab. Ooh, holding I got that. wave dash onto the stage yeah. there. You could have punished that much harder. There was there's like a... Uh, like a whole second of end lag on that landing, but instead just going, going for a safe punch instead. Yeah, Zone playing very cautious, does not want to go stock down in this situation. It could be pivotal. Whoever takes the L here, it's really going to set a precedent for the rest of the game. Could be like a penny forces him up, yeah, forces him out. He, he writes the eye just up ahead instead. Oh, he misses the tech. So it like intentionally is riding, riding that platform as it came in. Oh, but he rolled into that and he's going to kill. That's crucial, I feel. That's the stuff. If they don't find a kill here, it could be off. Force them onto the platform, but Pelly's not going to burn a jump there. As the back air comes through to catch it, they faked the full hop coverage and then slid right down and took him out. And now we're in it. The last stock even situation. Zone just did like three sick things in a row. Oh my god, he's actually playing so well now. He's got that lead. This He could actually get, the, get this set. That right, oh, not going to be able to use those platforms to extend anything else, which is a shame, but follows him so far in. Uh, Pelly answering right back though, even though oh, that percent count. Yep, looking very, very oh, even. Girl from zone working out, getting more fledge back into neutral. Oh, okay, you're fine, but precarious. Yeah, good job retreating to that platform. Doing it again, wasn't yeah. expecting it, but there's not a whole many more times you're going to get away with it. Well, Pelly starts biggering you out, but the clock is ticking right now as both players looking fairly even. It is zone with the advantage, but Pelly's got the stage. He has, and it's so hard to actually get a thing, but zone found his way. Pelly overcommitted, and he's taking so much damage for it. He could genuinely lose the set here. Yeah, zone just oh. baiting Pelly with a fastball yep. there. The platform's leaving you, buddy. The train's out of the station. Uh, who's scanning their oysters? As it looks like Pelly trying to find a way in, trying to find a back air. But Zone's not quite out of the job just yet. Oh my god, such a bold dash grab. All right. Oh. Yeah, gap attack again. It worked. Fear out. Zone doing so well. That's the stuff. Gonna shield it. Gonna keep it going. It's like a Yoshi egg roll, but Pelly. Not going to force the chase as another hit comes through. Zone looking so, so close right now as the back hit comes through. Looks like the double jump has been burnt, but the spring going to come up. Not going to get the two frame either. Can they get a read? Can they get a grab? The dash coming through. Pelly going to play with the space. Going to utilize that a oh, bit more. Punish. Dash comes through. Teleport down. What's Pelly got? They're just standing there menacingly. Pelly threatening it as the forward tilt comes through. The platforms are leaving once again. It's final destination for this final showdown. Is there a spike? There's a final tick of the nair that takes down Pelly. Too bad for you. It's insane.